So today we're gonna to talk about my largest position in the stock market, hims and hers absolutely exploded and we're gonna take a look at the reasons why it's exploded and a few other things as well, but really quickly, I had to put it up, the post have made the return, I think hims and hers at $3.11 is uninvestable, Andy Pickering, 30th of May, 2022. Sorry Andy, you've just missed out on a 10 bagger. Let's get started. So hims and hers, what a day yesterday. The stock was up 23% and in the last year, the stock is now up 279% as well. So when this is your largest position in the stock market, yeah, my portfolio was absolutely flying yesterday, which was great to see. But we'll talk about that movement. Was it a natural movement? Was it a fundamental movement? Or is there kind of a little bit of a day traders jumping in here as well? We'll kind of talk about that as well. Um, also, what I'm gonna say is that I did a video on Sunday, which I talked about a stock that didn't perform that well for me and kind of tried to use it as a bit of a learning curve. Um, however, it was just sabotaged by a lot of trolls in the comment section and uh, I got a lot of stick for that video and uh, I wanted to post a bit of a response video to that one, but obviously I can't do it today because Hims and Hers had a mega move and uh, we're covering it today, but I will respond to that video at some point. But as the first content creator to be covering this on the YouTube at $3, Hims and Hers absolutely exploded. It's good to see so many other people covering it now, but to be the guy that was in there in 2022 in that bear market, the worst market since 2008, and I was there on the YouTube channel saying, hey, at $3, this is a really, really good buy. I'm gonna make it a very large position. And obviously some of you guys did and you've done really well from it. And uh, you know, you see that time frame where you know so many people were so negative on it at $3, calling it uninvestable. It's funny that all of them have kind of deleted the comments since then. And even when we had the drop on the Amazon news the other day, which we'll talk about the Amazon news as well in a little bit. Um, you know, I saw when I made the video the other day, like the amount of people that were negative on Hims and Hairs when it crashed 25%. And on that video, even, what was it, 10 days ago? On that video I made 10 days ago, I said, yeah, 10 days ago. I was saying like, you know what, I've, I've, I think I showed you the numbers at the end of the video at some point. Oh, I didn't do it on this one, it was a previous video. But yeah, I was saying like the upside on here is very good, I'm a buyer, I'm a buyer at $19. I was a buyer at $3 and I'm still a buyer at $19 because this stock has a really good upside. But we'll get onto all that in a little bit. Before I do that, Black Friday, I apologize. I have had so many emails. I think we got onto nearly like 100 people trying to join the Black Friday. I just haven't got time to reply to them all. I will get back to them tonight when I've got a little bit more time. Today has been mental and uh, I will get it done today and get back to all your emails that are trying to get the Black Friday deal. If you do want to join, it runs out this weekend, but if you do want to join, send me an email, jkinvesting at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you and I'll get you on there. £44 for the full year, 100 exclusive videos, the JKR community to talk to on the Discord, including me, and also I post what I'm buying and selling in real time on there, so you would have seen over the last few days the times that I have bought hymns and I have also been trimming hymns, because obviously when you've had price movements of nearly 62% in a week's time, I'm taking some of that 62% profit and I'm gonna put it in the Lamborghini bank for when uh, I go get that Lamborghini. But I just wanted to clarify something on the Black Friday deal. A lot of people said, what's the difference between the Patreon and the Discord? Nothing. Um, normally I say the Patreon because that's the platform I use. However, with the Black Friday sale, Patreon does not allow discounts. Well, it does, but it's very small. And obviously the discount I'm giving you at the moment is a very big discount, so I can't do it through Patreon. That's why I'm doing it through PayPal. As Soon as you pay through PayPal, you'll get on the Discord, and on the Discord, you get all the exclusive content from Patreon on the Discord. I post it on the Discord, so you still get all the features on Patreon. The only thing, it isn't do, done through Patreon. You don't pay the Patreon fees, and all you don't get is an email every time I post. You'll still get the notification on Discord, so you're not missing anything. It's exactly the same thing. You get the Discord with the Patreon. Thought I'd clear that up, because a few people have been asking me about that. Anyway, let's get on to today's video. Obviously, talk about hymns and hairs. Yeah, obviously, absolutely flying at the moment. Now. One thing I wanted to make clear, and this is something that shocked me the other day, is the progress that Hims and Hairs has actually made from um, when we were at the start of the year. Now I'm gonna use Wayback Machine, as you can see here for Yahoo Finance. I have no idea what's going on with this design. It's exactly the same website, even though it looks nothing like that one. Um, but I'm going back to the 29th of April. So this is actually midpoint of the year. If you actually were to go to like January, it was even more of a shocker, but if you look at the current numbers that we're expecting in 2024 for now Hims and Hairs, in the next quarter we're expecting 90% revenue growth. At the, at the start of the year we were expecting like 30% revenue growth. That's how well the company has executed. You look at the current year of growth, we're expecting 67% year over year over year growth this year. Um, at the start of the year, we were expecting 35% year over year growth. And, and this is from April. Like if, if I had a screenshot I could give you from June, it was actually in the 20s. If you look at the EPS side of it, we're now expecting current EPS of uh, 0 0.8. 
at the start of the year, the forecast for hims and hers was to be 0.05. That's that's absolutely crazy, isn't it? That's absolutely crazy. So you can see here, the numbers that hims and hers were forecast to do at the start of the year were obviously decent improvements, but the numbers that are actually doing it at the start of the year is just, I couldn't even think of them doing these numbers. These are insane numbers. So when people look at the stock and go, does the stock actually deserve to be up 279% this year? And the answer is yes. Because you look at the fundamentals, they've improved rapidly as the year has gone on. And if you look from what they were doing a year ago to what they're doing right now, it's, you know, you're talking nearly 4X in the EPS, which is just insane. So when people talk about hymns and airs from a stock price point of view, does it deserve to be up so far this much this year? The answer is yes. Because if you look at the fundamental performance, it's been insane. This is the best financially performing company that I have. And that's why I have made Hims and Hairs my largest position in the portfolio, because it's my best performing position. I just look at them and they continue to keep executing more and more. Now, what was actually quite funny, well, actually, you know, let's talk about the jump. So the, the stock went up 23% today, uh, yesterday, sorry. And the reason why is because uh, Trump picked someone for the FDA and they were seen as a major ally to him and hers. Basically, they're a director in another company that's very similar that offers a um, GLP-1 weight loss. And they're thinking, oh, they're going to be quite supportive of getting, you know, opening up this ability for other companies to be allowed to use it. And people are thinking him and hers will benefit from that. So that's why the stock kind of rallied off it. I still can't believe the stock rallies off something that only generates 4% of the revenue and makes a big difference. Like yesterday, should the stock have gone up 23% off this news? No. You know, should does this stock deserve to be adding you know like 1.5 billion market cap on for that news the answer is no it shouldn't be doing that so when i look at this the stock price jump yesterday did, was it deserved probably not but we've seen this quite often with hymns and hertz i mean the other day we were only talking about amazon amazon came out and said that they're pushing into this space a little bit more Nothing new, you know, we've known Amazon's been pushing into this space for a while, but they went a little bit more into him's and her space and the stock dropped 24%. And then when I made that video the other day and then the stock dropped 24%, I was saying to you, does the stock deserve to drop 24% off that news? And the answer is no. It shouldn't have lost whatever it was. Was it nearly like 2 billion of the market cap? 2 billion of the market cap for something that hasn't even happened yet? Like, you've got to see if it's actually a concern financially before you even start wiping off that much of a market cap. Understand like a 5% drop, but not a 24% drop that we had on the Amazon news. And uh, when the stock dropped, I actually bought. Obviously, you guys on the Patreon obviously knew that I bought on that dip because uh, I thought that's absolutely ridiculous. I ran the numbers and I said, you know, from a long-term point of view, I think this stock is very cheap. I'm going to buy the dip. Now, lucky for me, obviously, the stock has completely rallied up already during that time frame. Um, and I look at the stock and like, fundamentally, it deserves to have a good rally. But right now, there's definitely a lot of day traders that are in this stock, especially off this GLP-1 news. You know, very quickly, this stock is a bit of a roller coaster where it's dropping quite very quickly, rising very quickly, dropping very quickly. And by the way, it's recovered all of that Amazon dip and gone even higher and rising very quickly. Without doubt, there's probably potential this stock rises another 20% in the next two weeks. There's the same potential that this stock actually falls 20% over the next kind of few weeks if there's any negative GLP-1 news that comes out. And as a long-term investor, yeah, it frustrates me a little bit. You know, I'd rather have a stock that's a little bit more stable and just kind of gently goes up in the background. But the main thing I look at this is like, you know what, if there's all these day traders in this stock, whatever, you know, whatever. I'm looking at this from a long-term point of view. And if they keep doing what they've done financially, I'm going to get rewarded. And in fact, I look at the share price right now and even at $31, I'd argue the stock is actually relatively not too bad of a valuation. So I'm looking at him today as going, you know what? Day traders can have the fun. They can send it up, they can send it down. I'll also make a little bit of profit during that time frame. I'll uh, buy on the, the crazy drops and I'll sell on the crazy shoot ups. But from a long-term point of view, I'm just holding the majority of the shares because the big thing for me is the fundamentals and the fundamentals keep improving and it will be reflected on the share price in the longer term. And that's what's the key thing is with hims and hairs. What did make me laugh is that two other things that I want to kind of add in here quickly is that when this Amazon um, situation happened and it dropped 24%. I made a video on it the uh, you know the other day saying like hims and hairs crashed 25% uh, that we talked about a little bit earlier. And you know when I posted that video, it was funny to see so many people come out and be so negative to uh, hims and hairs. And it's like where have you all been? Like you've waited for this time for stocks to drop 25%, and then you all kind of come out and go yeah it's a trash stock. And then suddenly it's recovered all the dip from the Amazon news, and everyone's like oh okay. Uh, what do we do now? And it just makes me laugh how many people like there's the ultra bears on the sidelines. There's the ultra bears. There's kind of two categories here because like there's as like the founding Hims and Hairs channel, 
people are wanting to see like hims and hers fail and maybe they just kind of missed the boat maybe they sold out too early and now they're praying for the stock to go down so they're all like bashing it for that reason like oh yeah the amazon news is really bad or maybe they missed out on three dollars you know they're, they're they're wanting to bash it so there's the kind of the bears on hims and hers at the moment um, or maybe they're still short, like the, the short from two years ago and they're still not closed the shorts and like, please go down. That, that's probably maybe another reason why um, there's so much negativity. And then obviously there's like negativity towards me. Uh, for some reason, I also attract a few people that I don't know what I've done to them, <laughs> but some people just hate me. Um, it could be just this day and age, it's the internet this day and age that people just, um, you know, or maybe they're just not very nice people, but also I get hate as well. So people don't like me succeeding as well because people see me make so much money on him today. It's like, oh, what? what, what? Like, gang, 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 <laughs> shouting in the comment section. Um, so even like they're frustrated as well. And it made me laugh because as soon as there was a bit of negativity, it all came out and then all of a sudden it's gone so quiet because the stock price rallied and it's just people that follow the share prices they don't look at the fundamentals and you know if you look at the fundamentals this jump was always going to happen at some point and it made me laugh you know the, the amount of negativity that came out as soon as it dropped and then all of a sudden it's gone very quiet again and uh, all the comments kind of got deleted on the video once again which made me laugh and the other thing as well is the last point i'm going to make on this video uh, tip rank stop putting your black friday sale up no one cares about it they only want mine um <laughs> Anyway, uh, the um, Bank of America downgrade. Do you remember when the Bank of America came out and downgraded uh, Hims and Hairs because of the Amazon news? They put it to underperform and then they put it, the price target down from $32 to $18. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> so yeah, honestly, analysts, they just follow the price price targets guys and um, we we already knew that this was a load of rubbish because bank of america price targets on hims have been absolutely awful but it's another example why you don't follow analyst price targets like these guys were so desperate to put it to underperform put it down to from 32 to 18 dollars i don't know if they've got a short or something on this stock and uh, you know they they shoved the price target down and what a terrible move that is because as soon as they shoved it down there and it got to 18 dollars off the amazon news and um, yeah the, the stock then absolutely rallied and they've missed out on a 62 percent jump and yeah don't listen to analysts i'll start believing analysts when they've got a higher than a 50 percent hit rate but the days of that happening are still very far away and they're still not very close right now so yeah it just shows you these analyst price targets they just follow stock prices and there's investors that do that there's investors that you know as soon as the stock drops we're out there going hims and hers is a trash stock and now hims and hers is up it's oh hims and hers is absolutely amazing like you can't do that like if you want to be a successful investor guys you just got to stare at the fundamentals and for right now even though there might be volatility in the share price i just look at hims and hers and i, I go if they keep doing what they're doing in the next few years and executing this stock isn't only going to be like a like a four bagger for me like it is right now um it's going to be like a 10 bagger for me so yeah it, it's going to be really exciting anyway so yeah well done to any of you hims and hairs shareholders that held through a lot of the fear that was out there even only two weeks ago uh people trying to pump out fake news with the Amazon story going to be a big impact and um, all the shorts kind of coming out of the woodwork hopefully you still hold your shares and you're still up and um, hopefully you even maybe bought some on the dip like me and uh, you've uh, even made some money on those shares that you bought only 10 days ago so uh, yeah 60% gain for only 10 days ago would be pretty impressive uh, enough to pay for a Black Friday deal eh? hope you enjoyed it guys I'll see you in a bit